Hello, I'm Professor John Gribben, and I'm a specialist in cancers of the blood at Barts Cancer Centre. This includes cancers such as leukaemia, lymphoma, and myeloma. If you've recently been diagnosed with this type of cancer, you probably have many questions. I'll be talking about the various treatments we offer here at Barts Cancer Centre, including the areas in which we specialise. I hope some of what I say is helpful, but remember, every patient's care is different, so it's always best to talk to your own doctor or nurse if you have any concerns. At the end of this film, I'll be telling you how you can find out more about cancer of the blood, the work we are doing, and how you can be referred to BART's. BART's Cancer Centre is at the forefront of pioneering new treatments for blood cancers. Our team of experts has been responsible for a host of new treatment approaches, many of which are now used routinely. We have a wide range of national and international clinical trials and laboratory research programs, which means that our patients have access to the latest treatments. Chemotherapy is the standard first-line treatment for many blood cancers, including leukemia and lymphoma. Chemotherapy involves giving one or more drugs, usually via a drip, over a period of weeks or even months. It works by killing off the cancer cells. But sometimes high-dose chemotherapy is needed if tests show the cancer has not gone away or after a period of time has come back. The downside is that high-dose chemotherapy drugs kill off patients' healthy blood cells as well as the cancerous ones, leaving their immune system damaged. This is when they need a bone marrow transplant. This works by replacing the damaged blood cells with healthy ones which can fight off infections and other illnesses. Stem cells can reproduce every type of blood cell and can be obtained either from the donor or from the patient themselves. Here at Barts, we've been perfecting transplants using the patient's own stem cells. This works by collecting stem cells from patients before the high-dose chemotherapy and then freezing them. After the high-dose therapy, these are thawed and given back and then grow to regenerate the bone marrow. This kind of transplant can often be done as a day case rather than having you stay in hospital. Here at Barts, we've been carrying out studies to perfect the way we use another kind of treatment called reduced intensity transplant. This works by using a donor's healthy stem cells rather than a high dose chemotherapy or radiotherapy approach to eradicate the cancer cells. The donor's healthy cells then kill the cancer. Because it doesn't involve toxic chemotherapy drugs, it can be offered to more patients and can also be performed in outpatients. We enjoy excellent results for stem cell transplants at BART's and are constantly improving the way we perform them, which means better outcomes for our patients. It can be difficult to identify a suitable bone marrow donor. Here at BART's, we are working on improving the way in which we can identify suitable donors so that they're better matched, which means fewer complications following transplants. BART's is one of a select number of hospitals in the UK with an experimental cancer medicine centre. This gives patients fast-track access to new cancer treatments. The experimental cancer medicine centre brings together laboratory and clinical research, offering new hope for patients not responding to existing drug therapies. Normally, it takes more than 10 years for new cancer drugs to be approved for use in the National Health Service. Through the Experimental Cancer Medicine Network, we aim to reduce that time by half. Ultimately, the Experimental Cancer Medicine Centre will improve the care we can offer to cancer patients and will keep the academic and clinical team at the forefront of international efforts to develop new treatments for all types of cancer. I hope what I've told you is useful, but remember, your own specialist or nurse will be able to answer specific questions such as, your prognosis and the best treatment for you. The possible side effects of treatment, both short term and long term, and whether there are experimental treatments that might be suitable for you, or how you can get in touch with a specialist nurse who can talk things through with you. You can also look at the following websites for more detailed information, including how to be referred to Bart's Cancer Centre.